yeah. mini game? Do I have to play a mini game with updating my firmware? Why, yes, you do, sir. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Steel. And I'm Teal. And we're with Studio Blue. In this RPG Maker Let's Play, we're going to take a look at Umbral Astral Dreamers by Kato-san. Alright. Um, Y'all couldn't see it because we started the video already at the screen, but um, when we first started off, there was this beautiful little pan mm -hmm. with the music starting. So, um, we're seeing that a lot more in the uh, games that we're reviewing. A lot more people are making the title screen uh, more than just something popping up. Yes. And we want to encourage the developers to do that. Whether you have a, a picture panning or a, or, or a um, uh, what do you call it when the logo flashes up, uh, whatever that's called. You, we want to have those little eye catches in order to have more than just a screen pop up with boom, there's your game. I like this very clean opening, this, this clean splash screen. Very nice. Oh yeah. It's very calming. Yes, it's appealing. All right. Let's go down to options. We have a bit of a delay. Hmm. Hopefully that won't. Yeah, hopefully that won't be during the game. Check your connections. All right, I also checked. No, it's nothing to do with the gamepad. Okay. It's just a, a delay. Okay. Always run. Command remote. Okay, these are, yeah, this is much more responsive. Let's switch over to full screen. Okay. There we go. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Just that. I mean, just something real simple like that. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. All right, let's jump in. Oh, the eyes open. Yes, that's neat. Points to the developer. <laughs> in the space between the tangible and the intangible exists a bridge that connects both realities. This bridge is called Umbral. The umbral is a chaotic place composed of nine dimensions, each superimposed and moving at different speeds. Here travelers can cross from one side to another. It's in the place where the astral beings live, autonomous machines made of sand and silica. They were created with the only purpose of maintaining order in the umbral and serve as a guide to travelers. The astrals are blessed by the creators with three gifts. A name, a power, and a mission. In time, a cell. Oh. <clears throat> it's time, a cell. Open your eyes. Your mission has been selected. Okay, so before we go any further, uh -huh. that was a stellar opening. Yes, it I was. I loved it. <laughs> Simple and uh, drew, drew me right in. Yeah. The only thing I will say, and this is me being critical, the scientist of me being critical, um, nine dimensions of what? That seemed arbitrary. <laughs> uh, I think there's like four dimensions of space and something of time. Uh, just check your math, and if, and if you got the data to back that up, then ignore me. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Hello, Acel. Welcome to the harbor. My name is Lou, and I'll be your guide. Harbor? Oh, it seems you've slept too long. Why don't you take a look through the window? Ooh, Ooh. yeah. And it's layered. A beautiful spiral galaxy. Yes, it is. Ooh, the nebula up near the front. Ah, outer space? That actually isn't tangible space, although it looks similar. We are here in the eighth dimension of the Umbral, a place of colossal ancient galaxies where all the astrals receive their first mission. The name of this ship is Harbor. That means... Will I receive my first mission today? I'm so excited. Indeed. Finally, I've been waiting for this day. Oh, wait. What was that? Nothing important. 
<laughs> this Candy Crush game. By the way, where are the other astrals? The others? Are you talking about the other astrals who were put to sleep at the same time as you? Occasionally they are awakened at different times, but don't worry, you'll probably see them again someday. Really? I hope so. Well, I'm ready for my mission. What should I do? I know you're excited, but first, why don't we refresh your power with a test? A test? Not so sure. Yeah. Don't get nervous. It'll be easy. In order to use your power, you need to update your core. Go into the maintenance room and do it. When you're finished, come back here and we'll start the test. I'll be back in a second. Hey, controls. Okay. Sound like any other RPG Maker game. Very uh -huh. nice. You have energies and the number of orbs are, that are made. And she's got this cute little idle bobby animation. Look at Aww. that. That is so cute. Okay, so the only thing I'm going to say story-wise, because I'm never going to tell a person how to write their story. Mm -hmm. I am going to tell a person, be sure when you, uh, when, you, when you make up something like this, where you have astrals and umbrals and dimensions of time and space and all of that, make sure that you create definitions, not like info dumping definitions, but make sure that you see how that goes in tangent with real science and stuff, because there are people out there who will criticize it. And as long as you're trying to, as long as you're letting them know this is all your fictional work, your world, your creation, mm -hmm. they'll accept things like nine dimensions or this is a eighth dimension, uh, you know, as opposed to um, a parallel world or whatever. These are just things that you can do to really make sure that the critics of your game don't try to pick apart the minutia of um, the math and the science behind your game. Okay. Some of the best games that I've played uh, that are sci-fi based like this is um, offer just breadcrumb explanations. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, Xenogears. Mm -hmm. Xenogears doesn't really go deep into the science behind its game. It offers just enough so that when you're playing it, you're like, okay, this is a sci-fi based game with mecha that run on some alien power source. Okay, I can work with that. You know? Um, and then you have games like Xenosaga, which went really deep into the science oh, and started yes. losing people after a while. So... You know, find your happy space and make sure you offer just enough information so that the people who are science-based won't call you out on your bullshit, but that you're not drowning so much science that the people who are not science-based will go, oh my God, this is boring. I don't want a science lesson. I want a video game. Right. So there's my lecture for all the developers out there on how to use science. All right. Let's have some fun. All right. We go to a pod here. What is this? It's a distributor of free orbs. How many okay. orbs do we want? Oh, let's, let's get ten. Okay, ten orbs. <laughs> okay, so we just need to get one orb. Because okay. we only have room for one. Ah, got it. One. Yay, one orb. Okay, we go here. Are we save. Okay, so that's a save point. That's a neat little crystal. You know, I'm beginning to think these are custom graphics, and they're gorgeous. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Okay, go to the maintenance room to update your core. All right, fine. Maintenance room. That's the testing room. Oh, hush. Haha, <laughs> my mistake. See? <laughs> Unlike steel, I can read. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Oh, shots fired, shots yeah. fired. <laughs> it's just decoration. And who's this person? Hello, I'm Hazel. Who are you? What happened with your arm? Wow, you're not shy at all, are you? Haha, <laughs> I'm not. Because it's a redhead. Yeah. My name is Elliot. Nice to meet you. Are you new? Yes, I am. What happened with your arm, Elliot? You go straight to the point, eh? I got lost on a mission. I lost it. I lost it on a mission. So be careful out there. I will. If you need a hand, don't hesitate to tell me. Oh, I sell. Wow, she has like no social filters <laughs> whatsoever. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make fun of me. I like your attitude, so I'll tell you a secret. Have you seen that strange box in the teleportation room? Meow. You should go see it. That box has been trapped there for a few years. Oh. Hey, teleportation room. That's got the strange box. Oh, wow, look at that box. <laughs> what is this? I can't touch it. 
Wee! Can we get teleported off to a different world now? No? Okay. Wow. Gotta follow the quest. Just look at I this. I love it. Gosh! This is such an interesting and, and different map. Yeah. That I'm used to seeing. Seriously. Wow. And the thing is, is that it's 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 interesting while maintaining some bit of the sterility one would expect yes. on a space station. Sterile. It's very clean. Very clean lines. And the color scheme is a cool to neutral. See all the whites and the blues? Yes. Oh, wow. I'm yes. digging this map. It's make the color, making the color theorist in you go crazy, isn't yes. it? Yes. <laughs> With good, in a good way. Oh, yeah. Please don't tell me you're here for repairs. Updating my core is considered a repair. Oh, an update. Just that. Yes, please. Oh, I'd love to do that, but I should finish this arm first. They have come with so many repairs this week that I'm already exhausted. So I'll have to wait for my turn? I have an idea. Instead of waiting, you can just do it yourself for that computer over there. Do it myself, but I don't know how. <sighs> I'll guide you from here. Unfortunately, you'll have to do it manually since the computer is rendering some projects. Wow. <laughs> rendering the universe. <laughs> it's deep thought. Playing Pong. Oh, but don't worry. It's relatively easy. Go to the computer. It's, it's a computer. A computer. <laughs> what do you do? Read? Garden. Okay, well, we're going to read. The garden is a place where new astrals learn all the basic knowledge they must have to carry out their missions efficiently. Then they're put to sleep until they're ready for their first mission. It was a really nice place. I hope to see my friends again. Cool. Okay. So the only thing there is just remember, folks, don't use the same word in the same paragraph. Otherwise, awesome. First, connect yourself to the computer. How do I do that? Well, we have to tell you. Turn on your Wi-Fi connection and connect to the signal of the PC. The name of the computer is Code V. Okay, we're going to revisit that in a second. I did it! Great. Now just follow the steps. Update your damn firmware, girl. Okay, I can do it. Update availability. <laughs> Update. <laughs> yes. And then it takes 13 yes. weeks. Because it's a 500 terabyte update over Wi Fi. <laughs> it seems that I have no other choice. Error. Auto update cannot be performed at the moment. Initiating manual update. This reminds me of <laughs> Windows Vista. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here's the next time to get this Yay. out of my system. So this is, I understand where you're going with this uh, developer, but please, for the sake of all things, if you're gonna have some high, super duper technology, astral umbral thing, yeah, don't use the word Wi-Fi. Don't use a human <laughs> coined term. Yeah, <clears throat> now, now you're breaking your immersion. Yeah, you're breaking your immersion. Use subnet or something else, just not Wi-Fi, okay. Use arrow keys to organize the files. Right for the update files, left for the old update files. What? Yeah. Is this a mini game? Do I have to play a mini game with updating my firmware? Why, yes, you do, sir. All right. Uh. Windows 3. <laughs> uh, this is fun. Oh my god! Pancake? 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 Milkshake? 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 Pancake! <laughs> Kitty gets his milkshake? <laughs> Buddy gets the pancake! Oh my god. <laughs> All done! Your power has been unlocked. You've obtained time control. Well, fuck! <laughs> and there went our rating. Oh my gosh. You now have control over time itself. <laughs> I just thought I was going to get the ability to fly. All right. Mm. 
I had a thought, but it's gone now. How to use time control. Use the A key to activate it. There are two okay. ways to deactivate it. Using the A key again or wait for the 10 second timer to pass. Okay. <clears throat> it will consume an orb. Okay, Very that's why we know. have a, a one orb capacity now, which we'll upgrade later on to have more orbs. And good God, what is that glitch? What is that? I can't touch it. I don't think I want to. Ugh. I'm glad you succeeded. Now I need to finish this. So uh, GTFO. Okay, at least things are described. Yeah. That's awesome. Yes, it is. Good job on that, developer. Okay, let's go to the training room. Bye, Elliot. Hope you get your arm back. So maybe those weird little things are in another dimension. It says there's nine dimensions. Well, that's possible. So we can't interact <laughs> with it because it's in another dimension. Very possible. Okay, let's go to the training room, right? <laughs> I'm here, Estelle. I'm just trying to think. Was it three of space, one of time? Uh, I think it is three of space, one of time, and some other. There's they, something else. I'm trying to. Quantum theory that. is oh. constantly getting updated. It we, is. is beyond the scope of this let's play, but we should probably have a, a TED talk about that one I day. I think so. All right, here we go. Here we Are go. You ready for the test? I don't want to do this test. Let's do the test. Perfect. To begin, why don't you come to where I am? Okay, we're gonna go right through those lasers. No, we're gonna hit that button. There we go. And I put your words off real fast. Yep, okay. Nice. Do I need something? I need orb. Yeah. One orb. Alright. Oh, let's see. Puzzle solving game. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Uh... May I ask what you're doing? I'm trying to figure out what that red thing over there on the other left side of the screen is doing. It confuses me. Can I push this? No, I can't push this. It just gives me shit. Uh, let's see. So that allows me to go through there. And this is... Do I jump? Huh. Oh, I do jump. Okay. Hand hold me. Uh, what is that? I do nothing, okay. So go over here, hit that button. You aren't heavy enough to press that button. Hmm. I wonder if it's that ball. Let's try that. Yes, it is. Okay. I kind of like this. Intuitive puzzle solving is fun. Wait a minute. Reset. Oh, reset. Ah ha ha. Oh, smart. So I keep Teal around. She, she a genius. Ta da. High yeah. five, Teal. There you go. All right, that's my girl. All right, let's do this thing. So let's go get an orb. Yeah, go get an orb. There we go. Oh, nice. <clears throat> this is so much fun. I'm not allowed to let you press this button. Okay. Hmm. 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 Thoughts. So I have to reset and I guess I do. Reset and then push it over? Maybe so. Maybe, yeah. No, let's try it out. Great out. Nope. Nope. Okay. You're done with that puzzle. Okay. This is a new puzzle. Oh, I know. Makes sense. Or I thought, see here, my clever ass thought he would just jump on the damn uh, mm -hmm. button and press it. But I guess I ain't that clever. Hmm. <laughs> Let's get a clue. Yeah, I got 
about that. Okay. Well. What do you think, Teal? Uh so I'm not heavy enough to press the button. You have to, to you have to lead it to get onto the button somehow. Now, can you push against them? Can you go that way? Yeah, it wouldn't let okay. me. No, I just talking to them. Okay, so now use your power and push it. High five! <laughs> My girl is smart. Oh, that's how it works. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yay! Yay! Good job, Michelle. Using your intelligence and your power, you can overcome any obstacle. However, did you know that you can also use your power in other ways? Follow me and I'll show you how. A cell, you can use your power to accumulate momentum in objects and move them a great distance. Okay. Try it by solving this puzzle. If you don't know what to do, we're running out of orbs, don't embarrass to ask me. Okay. All right. Give me orbs. Yeah, we need an orb. Interesting. That's the reset button. Aha! Uh -huh. Yep. Y you get it now, right? Yep. I, I feel very portal-ish all of a sudden. I think that should be enough, right? Yeah. Because on the red square. Right. Maybe not. No, because that'll hurt me if I touch it. I right, reset. Get more orbs. Ah, it's a flip thing. I got it. It flips it. Okay. Okay. Now nah, that should work. Oh. Gotta make it inert. What? It moved. Maybe it's just that. Nope. Huh. What did that do? Uh, it just kind of kicked it off screen. Oh, shoot! What you got? You're supposed to send that orb hitting that target. Okay, so where do I kick it in order to do that? What do you think? I don't know, but you, uh, when you did kick it, it went a little, it went halfway from wherever you had it. So maybe from here? Yeah. Nope, that hurt me. Maybe from the red square? Yeah. Like right here. Yeah. No, it just moves up one square. When you did that before, I don't know where where you were or where the orb was, but you kicked right. it and it went halfway across the chasm. Yeah. Nope, nope. it's just stuck now. All right, let's see what the clue says. Huh, okay. Okay. Put on the red square and then hit the rock when time stops. Oops. So now? Hold on. No, that's not working. Hit it when time stops. Stop time and kick it. Yeah, it's not working. Yes, it is. Kick it. I 
I don't know why you're looking at me. No, I'm just trying to figure out if you have any other ideas. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, oops, okay. Mm. Yeah, clue. Right. Another clue. Another clue. Lower the platform before time returns to its normal course, otherwise the rock will lose momentum. That doesn't make any sense. Yes, it does. Okay. Okay. Place the rock on the red surface. Okay. Hit the rock while you have time stopped. I did that. Lower the platform before time returns to normal. I did all that. Platform's lowered. So there it is. It's on the red. Right? You right? So that's all I have to do. Yeah, that's it. That's all I have to do. And now, now flip the platform. Okay, and you flip the platform. When time has stopped. And that should flip it. Okay, so... Stop time. Right. Put it on the red. Now go and hit the switch. Okay, and then you kick it. Maybe. See if there's a fourth clue. There's not. Okay, well, um, something about that platform. It has to be on it. Yeah. Right, got that. Got that. Well, we're following the instructions. No, I'm not getting it. I'm not either. Sorry, guys. I know y'all probably all know what's going on except us, but we ain't, we ain't figuring it out. Well, I'm out of ideas. Okay, well. Yeah. You want to try it, Teal, or are we done? No, I, I can't do it. Yeah. Sorry, developer, you stumped us. Um, this happens from time to time. Uh... We're not the very greatest at puzzles. <laughs> no, we're not. Uh, but I will say this is a fantastic game. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I absolutely have fallen in love with it. Um, I did, this the, From what I've seen, is a really good game. Yeah. I, I have nothing negative to say about the nothing, game. Nothing, nothing at all. Our ability, our, our inability to solve puzzles right. has nothing to do with the game. Right. And we're sure there's going to be some of you going to be screaming at us in yep. the comments saying, What are you doing? The robot tells you how to solve it. <laughs> Well, <laughs> sorry, this is not our forte. <laughs> so, this is not what we do. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> there are reasons why I never finished the Adventures of Lolo back in the 8-bit uh, Nintendo era. So, unfortunately, developer, we can't finish your, your game. Um, I, I'd love to see where this goes. Uh, maybe provide a walkthrough for us uh, lesser beings one day. Yeah. Yeah, we you can know. just follow a little walkthrough. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry. Sorry, guys. But, uh, again, just po nothing but positive things. Um I think this was part of a contest, so I hope okay. you won something. Oh yeah! And visually, uh, this game is gorgeous. Visually, and, yes. Uh, this the characters are, are very positive, and I I like what I've seen. Yeah, so. it's extremely engaging. Yeah. Um, and and all that malarkey we said at the very beginning about science—that's just if you want to present this as a work of science fiction. If you don't, and you're just this is a neat little fantasy world that happens to have science in it, that's fine. Ignore everything we said. Uh, you said. I said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, I, I love it. And, um, you know, let us know where you take this. And, uh, you yeah. know, uh, we'll, we'll follow it. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Well, if you like what you saw, leave the smack down the like button below. Subscribe to our channel. Consider supporting us on Patreon. Connect with us over Discord, Facebook, Twitter. And we will see you in the next video. See you next time.